Early in my educational career, the phrase advancement via individual determination did not define me, but it has molded me exactly into who I am today. As a child, I loved to play teacher and dreamed of becoming one. But it never occurred to me that in order to become a teacher, I had to do more than graduate from high school. I wanted to go to college, but I had no clue what college meant because no one in my family has ever graduated from college. My dad dropped out of school before attending high school, and my mother never really stressed the importance of college. There's one more thing that added to my lack of familiarity with college. I was born in Puerto Rico and lived there until I was seven. The day we moved and settled in Indiana was not the happiest time for me. Culture shock set in. I didn't know anyone here. I didn't even know English. How was I supposed to get around? I was a seven-year-old girl lost in a strange land and I hated it. However, within the first year of living here, I learned English. It was hard, but I was able to get through each day on my few English words. It was challenging being in this country, moving to different houses every so often and going to different schools. In middle school, my mindset shifted towards college readiness. I remember when it happened. I was late the first day of eighth grade, and my teacher gave me a ginormous binder and a bunch of papers. She told me I was a member of AVID and explained a bit of why the school had the nerve to think me, Jackie Fernandez, needed to be an AVID. I was terrified, and I hated every second of that class. <laughs> but only for the first day. My teacher's name was Miss Claudia Shapiro, and I went from disliking her to loving her very much. Everything changed. We learned to take notes, collaborate in groups, and expand our vocabulary. The tutors that came helped us better prepare for school. Instead of dreading going, I look forward to that class. But more importantly, I look forward to the family that we created. Later in my schooling, I was terrified of high school. But when I looked at my schedule, there it was, seventh hour, AVID, with Mr. David Lane. Through my experiences with AVID, I learned to be a diligent worker and also to set goals. I remember as a freshman, I set the goal to graduate in the top 10 of my class and as a member of the National Honor Society. I couldn't believe I set these goals for myself when before, I never even cared about school. But because of AVID, my mindset had changed. I knew that with the help of my AVID teachers, tutors, my wonderful teachers, my supportive peers, and my determination, I could do it. During high school, I worked hard and was even dubbed the face of AVID by my AVID teacher, Mr. Lane, for the work I did in East Chicago Central. Being part of AVID was instrumental when I faced obstacles such as friends that wanted to bring me down. My peers in AVID helped me stay focused on my goals. My AVID teachers were the best. They believed in me probably more than I believed in myself. How could I not be eternally grateful for those amazing teachers? AVID made it possible for me to dream and to accomplish all my dreams. I wasn't born into gifted and talented, and I did not have honors classes until AVID. However, through goals I set in AVID, I did graduate in the top 10 of my high school class. And not only did I graduate as a member of the National Honor Society, I was the president of my chapter. Because of AVID, I'm a strong public speaker. Because of AVID, I'm a sophomore at Valparaiso University. Because of AVID, I was awarded the Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship 
over the other 224 applicants. All I could think was me, me who cares about the future and has goals. Me, the club joining, tennis playing, always determined, face of avid. Me, Jacqueline Fernandez. Thank you.